Welcome to Caledonia Golf and Fish Club here in Pauley's Island, South Carolina, about 40 minutes south of Myrtle Beach. This is our second stop in Myrtle Beach on our 5,000 mile golf road trip down the East Coast up and through the Midwest, so super excited. To be here and play here, it seems like a really cool spot. Ready to show you guys the ins and outs of this golf course, pro shop, practice facility, go out, play 18 holes, then give this score a rating at the end. Let's go. Let's go take a look at the pro shop here at Caledonia Golf and Fish Club. So taking a look at the pro shop here at Caledonia Golf and Fish Club, a super cool vibe, wood everywhere, nice old style carpet, but this place is loaded with a bunch of cool stuff. Some cool hats, uh, plenty of memorabilia, head covers, gloves, everything you'll need to have a really cool hat over there that says never playing golf again. That's pretty funny, but you know, this place is pretty cool. It gives you like an old style feel, but you know, new style items to choose from, plenty of shoes as well, but you know, really cool place to be. Uh, this pro shop's pretty awesome. So let's take a look at the practice facility here at Caledonia Golf and Fish Club. This place is really cool. I've really never seen anything like this. They have a couple holes and greens for, you know, chipping to short pitching shots, stuff like that, like 60 to 80 yards you can almost hit here. Uh, no full range on property here, but their sister property across the street, True Blue, has a full range, so you can go over there and hit some balls. But there's a putting green here as well. And then over by the snack bar, there's another putting green. So this is, you know, a really good spot to dial in your chipping and short game. You know, this course isn't too, too long. So around the greens is really important. So I'm gonna hit some, enjoy this facility before we go out. But yeah, this is really unique. I've never really seen anything like this. So on your way over to the first tee, there's a nice little snack bar here, hot dogs, sandwiches, beers, stuff like that, and then even a bathroom. And also there's something special up there, some free seafood chowder, I think it's called. So we'll take a look at that. First hole here at Caledonia Golf and Fish Club, we're playing the Pintail Tees. Each tee box is named after a different type of duck. So you'll see the ducks right here. 348 yards from this tee box today, can play back. No real warm up, so we're gonna play conservative, hit a little four iron up there. A little to the right. If you hit it, oh. Nope. Just took a couple bounces and went left on me. Not what we want to see on the first, but at least we have the speed of the greens. Hole two here is a long par five, about 570 from back here. Narrow landing area, bunkers right. So we're gonna hit driver, just try to keep it in play. Two fifty in. I got my two iron, so Just short of the green, right at the flag. Go ahead. Oh, do the honors here. Okay, puts us back to level par. We're settling down. Hole three is a little par three. The green is very kind of just straight back and narrow. From back here, it plays like 191, but I got eight iron because that pins all the way back. So just trying to hit like a 180 shot here. Should be perfect. Mm. Sit. Nope. I just, I don't want to admit it, but I think we are struggling with a little bit of yippy chipping. Go in. Oh, it's a good two putt. So hole four is a little par four dog leg up to the right. Not a driver hole, only want to hit this about like 250, that's why I got two iron. Just kind of go straight out to that landing area. Stay short. Go. Yeah. Get there. Oh, it did pick up speed down the hill. They are rolling out here, but we like that. Stress-free par. Hole five here is another one where you have to just place a good tee shot out there. I got two iron. It's 420 from back here. 
but I mean, it gets really narrow. So just trying to place one out there about 250. Hopefully we don't catch some lumber right there, but it's about 160. I have a pitching wedge under that one over the next one, but it should be, should be okay. Oh, it's so chunky and I got mud in my eyeballs. No, this fairway just ate that up. Oh my God. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Hole six is a little par three. Fun little green up there, it looks like. A little downwind today, playing about 150. I have a 52 degree, I think pitching wedge is long. So smooth one of these, should get it up there at least on the right side. Oh, just keep missing greens. And that was short. Mm, stop. I pushed it. And the green is going that way. Another bogey. I'm making scorecards very colorful. A lot of squares on there, but I always say it, but we gotta settle in. All right, well, started to rain, so Sorry about the mic and everything, but we're gonna manage with the rain, it should pass. We got two iron here on this hole, hole seven. Oh, almost slipped out of my hand. No. So we, uh, yeah, hit it into the trees, but just chip one through with the seven. All right, another bogue. So we got a par five here. Obviously it's raining, so might play a little longer. It's like 480, something like that. Hole eight. Well, we're in a bad spot here. I don't think I have the right club either, but it's gonna deal. Yeah, I didn't have the right club. Might have gotten through. We are up. Got over the water, surprisingly. Not terrible. Hey, there we go. It's a par. Hole nine's a little Chippy par three, it's about 100 yards today. I'm just gonna try to chip a little 56. Not the easiest shot, but see what we can do here. All right. Or the other way. Okay, done with the par. Hole 10 is a nice little par five straight away. Kind of narrow up there, but two good shots to get there, about 515 from here. That was like drop kicky, but it's dead straight. Oh no. Little downhill, right to left. All right, salvaged a par there. All right, hole 11 is a fun little par three. The pin's tucked way left. It's playing about 175 right now. Got a nine iron, so right center of the green. Should be a good shot. Or right at it, go. Yeah. Get there. Oh man. I want to say the ship is steady, but it could easily catch a hurricane in the middle of the ocean. But as of right now, we're in calm waters. We got hole 12, little dog leg to the right. I'm just going to hit a little five wood out there to the left side. Oh my 
gosh. I just took a massive hack at that. Set. Oh, it went right. Easy. There we go. All right, save the boat. Hole 13, I think it's one of their signature holes up by the green. There's like a really narrow piece of fairway and it's surrounded by some bunkers, but big dog leg left off the tee. That's what we got to worry about first. Going to hit a two iron. Sit. Found ourselves in this back bunker, not where you want to be. Yeah, caught a lot of sand. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. Three putt double from 20 feet, can't happen. So we're walking across this little bridge to our tee box, which is over there. It's gonna be a par four, I think it's about 415 yards teeing off over the water and water left, so not the easiest shot. Little healy, but cut off the water in the right side of the fairway. Go. Come back the other way. Slung it on the left side. Well, it's par as a par. Hole 15 here is a really sharp dog leg left. I got five wood just trying to get it out there. Again, it's long too. It's like 450, something like that. Oh no. I mean, that was just a bad swing. Yeah, and I knew if it was right of it, it'd go right. There we go, putter's starting to feel good. Another par, all right. I've only made one bird today, but other than that, rocky ship. Hole 16's a long par four, up to the right. I mean, it's another not driver hole, just got two iron, about 240 down the right center. Please go. Yeah. All right, it's a good par on this hole. Tough hole. Okay, hole 17. It's about 150 par three. Got a little pitching wedge, nice and easy. Let's get it up there. Ah, uh, just going left. Yeah, it's been. Didn't start it high enough. Little bug. Really cool finishing hole here at Caledonia. You have to lay up on the left side and then hit over the water to the green. I just got a five iron when I hit something about 200 yards, maybe 210 yards. So just up the left side here. Got pretty lucky. Stayed up here on the right side. We have 127 into the hole, a little 52 degree. Found the surface. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I didn't hit it. Really short. Oh, two short in a row on the 18th. Well, nothing like a three putt, though. It was just awesome to be out here, Caledonia. You'll see my score on the screen. Let's go head up there and debrief, give it a score. So that was Caledonia Golf and Fish Club here in Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Now it's time to give it a score. We're gonna go through the 10 categories I came up with. The first one is playability. Could golfers of different skill levels come here and have a good time? And I really think they do. They have varying tees all the way down from 4,800 yards to about 6,500 to where I played from. Not super long, but again, it provided a bit of a challenge. So given that, playability is going to be an eight.
Next is design. I thought this place was super unique. You got twists and turns throughout these really cool trees, pine straw, some water holes. Uh, it's quirky, it's not too long uh, to where, you know, people who don't hit it very far couldn't play. It's just long enough to be a challenge. I really like the design of this place, nine out of 10. Next is accessibility. You can book tea times online on their website and also they're part of uh, Myrtle Beach vacation packages as well. Super easy to do so. You can do a couple days in advance. Uh, it does get busy in the summer, but again, very easy and accessible and nine out of 10. Additionally, they partner with their sister club, True Blue, which is across the street and you can get discounted rates if you did, you know, one day here, one day over there, or vice versa. So that's an option as well. Next is the practice facility. Although there wasn't a full range on this property, there is one across the street at True Blue that you can access. But here at Caledonia, they have a super cool little chip and putt course type of thing with multiple greens you can chip to, two different putting greens, which is super unique. I don't really see that a lot. Um, given it didn't have a range on property, but they have that really cool feature, it's gonna get an eight out of 10. Next is the pro shop. It was a super cool vibe in there, wood paneling everywhere old lodgy feel guys are super nice a bunch of different merchandise belt shoes hats all that good stuff sunglasses i mean pro shop loot out of the water 10 out of 10. next is location so we're in Pauly's island south carolina which is about 40 minutes south of the heart of Myrtle Beach, I would call it. Um, and you know, there is stuff to do in the area here. You have the beach, but if you were coming to Myrtle Beach for a golf trip, it, it is a bit of a drive. So given that it's gonna be an eight out of 10, but you know, this atmosphere and vibe is super calming. Everyone's super nice here, but eight out of 10 in terms of location. Next is condition and Caledonia was in phenomenal shape today. As you guys saw throughout the day, we had a very, variable mix of conditions. It was pouring rain at one point and then it was sunny and the course held up great. The greens were fast, fairways were firm and cut well, nine out of 10 for condition. Next is accommodations. So there are different stay and play packages you can uh, buy online with a bunch of courses in the area. So it's part of that kind of package. No lodging on site here, but I'm sure there are houses in the area, Airbnb, stuff like that on the beach. Um, given it doesn't have stuff on property, but it has those other, other options, it's gonna be an eight out of 10. Next is the food. So there's a snack bar uh, before we go out and you hit it at the turn. And also there's a car girl out in the course, free seafood chowder before you go out, if that's your thing. Uh, really unique to this place. And then there's also a full restaurant inside with a menu and a back deck with guys heckling you on the last hole. Um, 10 out of 10 for food, plenty of options, super cool. Finally is the overall value. So to play Caledonia right now when we're playing is the end of May. It's going to be about $195 for 18 holes. Now it is a little bit steep, but again, with that, you're getting a super unique layout, a great atmosphere, super nice staff. I mean, people are just the nicest people around here, honestly. Um, and then the course itself was beautiful, not long, but very challenging. You have to place each, each shot. So given it is expensive, but the conditions and everything that has to go along with it, the whole atmosphere, I'm, I'm still gonna give it a nine out of 10 for value. Um, you are gonna be paying more than some of the other courses in the area, but again, you're gonna get that experience unique to Caledonia. So Caledonia Golf and Fish Club got an 88 out of 100, which puts it here among courses in that price range, 150 to $200. And then here among all the courses we've done thus far, make sure you subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And you get to follow our journey, 5,000 mile golf road trip down the East Coast, up to the Midwest. We still got two more golf courses here in the Myrtle Beach area to go play and review. I'm excited about that. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.